The top stories for the hour. Ethiopian government announces to intensify measures against illegal activities following recent macroeconomic reforms. And the Ethiopian airline launches daily flights to Brussels. Hello and everyone, welcome to ABC World, the voice of Pan-Africanism from the capital Addis Ababa with Wenu Sampini Amgetana along with other technical crew. Do stay tuned here now the news in brief. The Ministry of Government uh, Communication Service, Legacy Tulu, announced the government's plan to strengthen measures against illegal activities following recent macroeconomic reforms. Briefing the media, Legacy outlined the progress of these reforms aimed at addressing economic structural issues and supporting Ethiopia's sustainable growth. He praised the success in tourism, agriculture, and other national initiatives that foster pride and benefit citizens. Meanwhile, Legasa highlighted that the reforms are designed to stabilize the economy, enhance trade and investment, and boost sector efficiency. Although the majority of businesses are supportive, he criticized those engaging in illegal price hikes and products hoarding, calling such actions unjustified and unacceptable. The minister reiterated the government's commitment to intensify monitoring efforts to ensure accountability. And he also reaffirmed the openness for dialogue with armed groups and ongoing collaborative efforts to maintain law and order while addressing constraints on product movement. Meanwhile, Ethiopian Agricultural Transformation Institute said that the agricultural sector will be crucial in stabilizing the country's financial system by increasing both quality and quantity of agricultural commodities. The talking to Ethiopian news agency, the CEO highlighted that the homegrown economic reform is guiding all sectors, including agriculture. This reform document prioritizes five key sectors with agriculture being central and it outlined three main reform areas, policy change, uh, programmatic, programmatic reforms and institutional reform. The CEO highlighted that the homegrown economic reform is essential for agricultural transformation, focusing on policy, programmatic and institutional change. Meanwhile, Ethiopia is committed to a market-driven economy to boost agricultural output and foreign currency, he added. In the past five years, over 60 sectors have been open to domestic and foreign investment to make Ethiopia more business-friendly. And finally, Ethiopian Airlines, Africa's largest carrier, has announced an expansion of its services to Brazil. Starting October 27, 2024, the airline will increase its frequency to a daily direct flight from its hub in Addis Ababa. This announcement aims to offer greater flexibility and convenience for travelers in between the two cities. The airline also highlighted that the increased frequency will benefit both business and leisure travelers by providing more flexible scheduling options and improved connectivity. Ethiopian Airlines' decision underscores its dedication to enhancing passenger experience and reforcing its position as a leading global carrier. With this development, Ethiopian Airlines aims to cater to the rising demand for travel between Africa and Europe, ensuring a seamless and efficient journey for its passengers. The daily service is anticipated to further boost trade relations and tourism, contributing to the economic growth of both Ethiopia and Belgium. Now a recap of uh, the top stories. Ethiopian government announces to intensify measures against illegal activities following recent macroeconomic reforms. And the Ethiopian airline launches daily flights to Brussels.
Well, you've been watching ABC Wallet from the capital, Addis Ababa, the Voice of Fire Africanism. This has been the update that has been happening over the past 24 hours. Thank you for being with us. Do stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the program. Goodbye for me now. Thank you.